Yo, this your boy Fireworks. Again, welcome back. This is Snoopers Gonna Snoop YouTube channel. I got my girl White Gold with me. So you already know what we're here to react today. We got Wentworth episode seven. All right, and this is called Decimation. So with that being said, we already thinking bombs. We already thinking explosions. We already thinking that this- Genocide. This episode, well, we were talking about it earlier. I think I suggested that maybe this since you know we got four episodes left that maybe this is kind of like a four part this is kind of like the, like the intro of where this is going to the leading conclude. up to the end so the beginning of the end yeah, shall you say this is definitely the beginning of the end i feel like sure. so you guys i know already we definitely are ready all right so before we get into that make sure you guys are smashing the like buttons for us okay and make sure you guys are going down and comment letting us know everything and how you feel about the episodes and our reaction if there's anything that we could do better you all drop it down for us okay make and let sure... us know what you think too yes and please go down and subscribe for us all right so we got wentworth episode seven decimation i'm fireworks white go we got white go white go this is snoop is gonna snoop and we Snoopers gonna snip, snoopers gonna snip, snoopers gonna snip. It's not your bitch. Here we go. So, do you think that Mari messed with Lou to be really be conniving and get under her skin? Or you really feel like she was just I on it? I think that? it was just like to change the subject. Okay, okay, okay. And Dr. Miller and Ferguson, I want to see more of that shit. I want to see his ass get caught. Yeah. Because her trial has to be coming up soon. Yeah. Like for it sure. has to. We have to get an answer. Oh, oh shit. Shit, sorry. <laughs> well, looks Awkward. like Ruby got her fun. So maybe she wasn't dreaming. What are you waiting for? What is she? Why is she hawking Mari after she knows everything on her? I don't know. What the fuck is that? I don't know. In your stuff. Lou blames them for what happened to Rip. Why should you care? Because she's about to blow up everybody. Oh, Jackson. She says she oh. wants to protect Mr. Jackson. Makes sense. See? And that's why I said that Mari is going to start getting on the good side now because she got that info and she's good. She's good people now. So she not off that. And look what she's doing. She's right now talking to Rita after About what it. happened. Yeah. And she's telling her what's kind of telling her what's going on. You feel me? And this information is going to be good for Rita to let the other people know, or at least our group anyway. Yeah. Or like if, if she's, if she hears it, she can kind of like get in front of it. Yeah. And you know, Slow it down at least, if not stop it. Right. I don't see how I can help you. Dr. Miller is a total professional. Nothing rattles him. Fuck. Fuck, fuck. Calm down. Fuck, Joan. I mean and I don't know what Al what they expect Allie to do anyway, honestly. So In we'll, a wheelchair? we'll see their creative, which they expect her to do to try and help. Right. To come clean, to be honest. And now you're throwing that back in my face. Playing him like a fiddle. I know it. Playing. Playing. What in the fuck? She's completely playing chess. Yeah, for sure. What has she done now? Nothing to me, but she's making threats. She about blow. He said, "What? What's wrong with Luke Kelly now? Nothing's wrong. <laughs> she's about to blow up everybody." Oh, okay. She's telling Mr. Jackson. Good idea. Judy is helping her. Mr. Jackson. Oh, he's telling senior staff. Mm. So much as fart me, mate, and I will rain a shit storm on you. Mm. She Bro, said, what? So much. She said, "Is you? If you so much as fart near me, <laughs> I will rain a shit storm on you." Bro, did Miles just choose the Ooh. top dog? Where are we at? 
That should tell you guys where we at. Miles don't care, bro. Because she's, she's got PTSD. Well, I think Miles don't care now. She ain't never grabbed up no top dog. She would never grab B like that. She never grabbed Frankie like that. But that was before the siege also. But she peed on herself in the first two episodes. When the Duke bitch and the other bitch was going out. And then chose Luke Kelly. Put that, her in that baton. Somebody go, I'm telling you, somebody go get that baton and wear her out for the, for the season's over. Like, oh. My entire life. But I've never felt so alone. You think that she's doing this to try to get at Dr. Miller? Maybe. A little bit or something? Maybe. See what I'm saying? It's like weird because yeah. like she's, is she playing her? Or is she like, maybe like she's playing her, but she's afraid to play her because she's afraid of the consequence of getting caught? We'll see. I don't know yet. What are we talking about Mari? We'll she's... have to see. Uh... Yeah. Hang on. I thought you didn't trust her. I don't. Okay. So um, how does that work? So did Mari put that there? I don't know. I'm or Judy? Sure. Maybe Judy. But like I said, I still don't trust her. Right now, I'm just trying to keep everyone safe. You, especially. Because if anything happens to Ruby, Rita's going ham. We're going to get that Broly moment, like when he lost his dad in that Dragon Ball Super movie. Rita is going ham. She's going to explode. She's going to burn that bitch down herself. Talk to me to keep your mouth shut. I owe you nothing, Mari. Have you forgotten what I can do to you, Rita, with just one word? God. Now you put me. I don't think Rita give a fuck. I don't know, cause they'll come after Rita and Ruby both. So she wouldn't do that to Ruby. Like fuck herself, she wouldn't do that to Ruby. To anyone, she's certainly not gonna open up to me now, especially now that she knows there's a fucking mole. Fuck you. They have such a strange ass relationship. They do. They all do. Here we go. What did she just do? I don't know. There was a some folded up piece of paper. I don't know. That yeah. is one yeah. does definitely like kissing. Oh, like kissing. Oh. You know? What are you most afraid of? Okay, boom, we're getting the boom I right know. now. I hope you don't forget the camera, though. Oh. <laughs> That's dope that she really found somebody that she actually likes. Yeah. And like her back. Yeah. <clears throat> That's dope. Mm-hmm. I can't. I'm sorry. I'm with Zayna now. Hey. I feel really bad for Allie because now I was like, what is she doing with Mr. Jet? I mean, uh, Mr. Miller and Dr. Miller, but. Dr. Miller's coming now, okay? <gasps> so Allie, she's, she's threatening to self harm with a shiv. What in the world? Is this a. Part of the plan? The hell's going on? It's an overfake. People don't see me. That look is what told me that maybe Vera is up to something because you know what? She's been a little conniving here lately. Oh, yeah, they're trying to figure out what's going on with him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm just as shocked as they are. Well, like, I don't know. She probably went through it, too, because 
he told her like you're beautiful and desirable and stuff and ruby is with zayna now and you know the rejection and then just the realization i don't know i get it though None of this was Susan's fault. It was me. What in the world is about to go down? She's about to find out what's going on. Oh. That was the lawyer that, not the lawyer necessarily, but the, the like, one of the NSO guys that first came to saw Judy when she first got to prison about her uh about her terrorist charges. Yeah. Cockburn. I've been so focused on Ferguson. We went too far. Well, how far's too far, Will? Burying her alive? I'm sorry. <laughs> she need to quit throwing that in his face. She threw the she threw the Jake joke out there. That was she Jake. She need to quit throwing that in his face though, because he did what he had to do. What are you gonna do with him? Oh, I'll just have a little chat. Good work, Miss Reynolds. I'll be in touch. What kind of CIA shit was that? What the fuck? We're gonna have ourselves a little Kathy Maxwell barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> little do you know, do you know who you fucking with? This bitch was buried alive and got out. You not fucking with her, Luke Kelly. It's Ferguson, Rita, probably Ruby and then you, bitch. You crazy. Like, did she not realize who she was saying that to? And she didn't even bust a sweat. Ferguson gonna be her ass in there. I'm telling you, right now, if we see it. You are beautiful. I just want you to see what everybody else sees. That was that B look. That's what that was. That was that B look right there. That camera. Mm-hmm. Can't let her take the blame. Yes, you can. Lou's gonna stay presser. Just suck it up, Mary. <laughs> she said, yes, you can. I would have said the same shit, bitch. We talking about Ferguson. We need her out of the equation. No way. Oh, fuck you talking about. Fuck both y'all. She claims she recently wrote you a letter, which she gave you, begging you not to end the affair. No, no, there is no letter. You won't mind if we search your office then. That folded up piece of paper. Oh. You're a fucking weirdo. Why did Vera say something about Ferguson at that time? I don't know. That's what was really weird about that whole altercation, because that's why he knew it was a setup. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Because he's not dumb. He's a psychologist. Right. <laughs> that crazy bitch was eating it. She said, boom, but it was just a hallucination. <laughs> I thought it. I thought I was like, oh, got her. Knew it. Nope. Oh. What's going on? I'm sorry, Kath. I was the mom. I should never have let Lou do what she did. So what was I? Collateral. Rita. Make it up to me. Let me borrow Zena's phone. Sorry, Kath. Lou has it now. Push back harder till... That means she's gonna have to try to get it from Lou. 
And you got the three baddest bitches in the one cell now. Because Rita had to be the one to set the tone. Yeah, she had to make it okay. I told you she was going to try. She was definitely going to use that photo. But I want to know how she even got that photo. Because when, uh, okay, let me just go back. When Channing shot Murphy, Vera grabbed that phone and wiped it. So my question is, how did Ferguson get that picture? It's Ferguson. I need to know how she got it. It's Ferguson. No, I want no. I physically, literally would like to know how she got the picture. That's what I'm saying. We back to square one. And Dr. Miller. We back to square one. And they back. <laughs> we back to where we started. As soon as Vera and Yim and Anne knows now about the explosion. This is about to be a shit show. You was right, because it's about to be like a four. It's about to lead up into the end. This was definitely the beginning of the end. Definitely, for sure. All right, man. You all That's let us know, please, what you thought of this episode. If you've watched it, okay? Uh, we are mind blown off the last maybe 20 seconds, of course. Uh, it was a great episode. Uh, it definitely was a lot better than last one. I feel like the last one just had a lot of shit popping off. It was entertaining. This one actually was going somewhere. Which and Allie really played her part. Yeah, and, and then now it looks like it's for no reason. Back to another dead end. That's why I said we back to square one. Because Ferguson's playing chess. Like, oh, but, you moved. Now let me make a move. But it's like it's like the thing about it is what I mean by like square one is like when we first started this season, Vera Jackson and Jake was all under pressure because mm -hmm. they didn't want anybody to find out about what they did yeah. and they didn't know if Ferguson was going to say nothing. Now that Ferguson knows who she is. And, they, and that's why I said, why did Vera confront him about Mr. Right. Jackson instead of just letting the alley situation be the aloe or be the venom for that, for that shit. Bringing up Ferguson is what got Ferguson to print right. the paper out. Right. You're going to walk in his office tomorrow and see it from his printer. So, See, I can't wait for next episode. All right, y'all. That was episode seven, Decimation. We got three more, y'all. We got three more, okay? Make sure you guys are liking these videos, commenting, subscribing. Make sure you guys hit the little notification bell. That way, every time we drop a video, it goes straight to you guys and you all are notified, all right? So make sure you guys tune in with us. We'll be back with the episode eight reaction next week. And thank you for watching us. Yes, thank you guys for watching and all the subscriptions and all the likes, all the comments, all right? And I'm sorry if I can't comment to you guys, I'm trying to figure out what's going on with the YouTube thing. It won't let me respond unless I'm somebody else. Sometimes I can't see them, so bear with me. I'm still learning, it's a learning process. So, I'm Fireworks. This is White Gold. This is what Snoop is gonna snoop. We gonna go catch you guys next week, all right? We at Snoopers gonna snip, Snoopers gonna snip, Snoopers gonna snip, it's not your